Hello, my beautiful plant people. How are we today? Welcome back to the channel. If we have never met before, I am Sam from Plant Collector Melbourne. And today we have another unboxing. Yes, I know we're doing a back-to-back -back unboxing, but we are getting more and more plants. And I just know that you guys love some unboxing. So of course, here I am filming so that we can do this. Today is Thursday morning and I have my beautiful, talented Leanne I'm going to be editing this real quick, real fast, so that it can be put live to you tonight on YouTube. So know that we are working very hard to get this YouTube video to you. So today, as you can see, we have two boxes and I'm very excited to show you what is in here. So my friends, as you can see, we have two boxes here, which is not typically how it goes. Majority of the time I get one box. I know exactly what is in here and for the first time ever, it's not just all anthurium. We have lots of different genuses in here and I'm very excited for you all. I shared in our broadcast channel what was coming in terms of genuses and you guys seem to like all of the little, um, what would you call it, little secrets. Um, so if you are not in our broadcast channel on Instagram yet, feel free to follow because that's where I normally uh, dive into or share secrets with you all. So it's been really fun to have a broadcast channel. And for those of you that are in it, you know what is in here. Enough chatting. Let's get into this. Let's go. These plants have come in just last night and my beautiful sister went to go collect them because let's just say personal life has gotten a little bit hectic um, for reasons and she put her hand up to help me. So Chris, if you're watching this, I'm very grateful and thankful to you. It's how the plants are here today. <laughs> we picked them up yesterday. We're opening them Thursday afternoon and they will be available for you guys at the store uh, by tomorrow on Friday which is grand final weekend and we have the day off which is nice but pcm will be open for the public holiday and yeah let's get started for all my people that are interstate i will definitely be doing a plant drop online so that don't worry you're not forgotten i will have some for you actually i'm going to move these let's start with this guy then with my teeny tiny guild sharp scissors which i love I've also been trying to challenge myself in getting um, more than just phyllos and anthurium into the store. So I'd also really love for you guys to tell me things that you would love to be here because of course everyone's taste and preferences are different and I acknowledge that. And I also want to open my own horizons um, and enjoy other plants as well. She's open. <laughs> Gosh, I love unboxing. As y'all know it, I love me this fluffy, delicious goodness. Oh, there are some really awesome sized stuff in here. Oh, this is fab. Oh, this is fabulous. Fabulous. Ah, yes, that's right. I forgot about these. Not that I forgot. I actually got messaged um, about these. And we're doing actually a test. Let me explain, my friends. So what we have here is a begonia. Now, to be completely transparent and honest with you guys, begonia, not my forte. Um, in caring, I do like them, I don't love them, but this was a test to see whether begonias could make it um, via getting transferred here to PCM and look, I think the answer is yes. So it's looking great. This begonia is stunning. The color, so let me take a look. So we've got like red, pinkish hues, dark velvet. This is velvety and it's fluffy. It is, and the, the fuzz or the fur on it is pink. It is, what, hopefully you guys can see if I cover my face. I hope you guys can see the fluffiness of that. This is, this is quite a stunning plant. One that I didn't even ask for, but I'm very glad that it is here. Again, opening my horizons to 
begonia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, which means that if it's traveled well, we might be getting more begonia in the store. Cute! Of course, we have the classic. This is one of my absolute favorite Anthurium hybrid. So for those of you that don't know, there is something called Midnight Velvet. So Anthurium Midnight Velvet, which I think should be a cultivar in Australia, but we think that it is a hybrid of like a, a Dresslerai or a Pap. We don't really know exactly what it is, but it's a, diff, a very dark and complex hybrid complex hybrid um, so it is stunning and so this one is a garden velvet crossed with a midnight velvet i have always had this in store i've had them on my website my channel for quite some time and it is definitely one of my absolute favorites and this guy just with maturity gets even better and better so i've got a couple of those oh another anthurium so this guy is Anthurium ocranthum crossed with a Crystallinum hybrid. Mmm, cover my face so y'all can see. Very cute. Um, and I've had these in the store before and I know that you've got the deep dark Anthurium, you've got Velvy Anthurium. This guy is not as velvety. And on top of that, it's very shiny. Um, so hopefully it picks up on the camera, the beautiful glistening nature of it. Beautiful. I think this this box in particular is all the Anthurium and Philos, I think. Yep. What are you? Oh, this is something exciting. <laughs> oh, do I want to keep this for myself? This is a Forgetti Eye Cross Dresslerai. And anything with Dresslerai in it, I automatically am like, gimme, gimme. Um, so that is a cute little Forgetti Dresslerai. So I think the shape is going to be gorgeous, like a um, Forgetti Eye, but the deep, dark dress traits would hopefully be in that so that's very exciting to have in the store let's get let's change it up and get some philodendron shall we um so this is this is this is the fun thing about having a plant store and is that people come um, and visit and say hi and have a good wander around and browse um, and everyone is at their own different journey with plants. And so even though I'm like, surely everyone has this particular plant. And then I get like requests of like, Sam, do you have this? Or is this coming into the store anytime soon? And this is definitely one of those plants where I think to myself, oh, surely like most people have this and they won't want it, but I do get requests from it. So I hear you and I listen. And so here is my friend, a Philodendron Majestic. And I I seriously cannot get enough of this plant. It was one of my very first um, Philodendron when I first started. And a Majestic is a varicosum crossed with a Soderoi. And I just think that it is so stunning in terms of the color, in terms of the um, patterns on the very front. It almost looks neon as well. My favorite is the back because of the veru. You've got this like red petioles and red abaxial. So this has always been a stunner. Yeah, it just, it, it kind of always surprises me that plants that I think are not as interesting, but people request them. And I'm like, Sam, you know nothing. Listen to the people and what they want. So I hear you and I got a Majestic in store. So these have always, 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 and I think for those of you that follow me on social media and watch all these unboxings, these always come into the store, but these ones are particularly big. This is immaculate. Oh my gosh, these are the biggest ones that I've ever received for the store. <gasps> oh, this is so exciting. I thought these were gonna come and they were gonna be really small. So. <laughs> oh, so we've got some more philodendron round form plowmanii. And isn't this just an amazing size? So I've gotten some of these in the store. Um, you can even check my other unboxings, but they were significantly smaller. And this guy is just 
Do I even need to say how beautiful this is? It's one of my favorite philodendrons. Oh, just look at it. And we've got a couple. We've got maybe mm, two or three, but this one is definitely like the nicest one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm really happy with the size and quality of that one. Okay, my friends, what's next? Oh yeah, I specifically asked for this one because again, I listen to you guys. You guys tell me what you want and I tell my growers. So this, my friends, is another Pendant Anthurium and I actually haven't had this since back in Brunswick. It's been that long. And it is Anthurium vitarifolium. Such a classic. I've got one at home that is massive and I know that these turn into such beautiful, beautiful plants. Not velvety, more like leathery, long paddled leaves. Yep, we have a vitarifolium. Oh, this one's cute. What are you? Ah, yes, yes, yes. So this one, my friends, is an Anthurium crystallinum crossed with another crystallinum, but it's Greg's round stellinum, which I've seen in real life and they're stunning. So um, Greg is one of our collectors up north um, that has been collecting for many, many, many decades. So um, his stuff is always really beautiful. But this is it cover my face. Stunning, beautiful color, a little bit bluey. Shape is very cute. Um, yes, I love that guy. A bigger vitarifolium. Oh, this one's bigger and it's, um, look, if I had to pick out of the three that I've just unboxed, I would pick this one. This one is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And look at those roots. Oh, this guy would love a repot, I'm sure. And in a hanging basket, oh! Stunning. Oh, oh, I specifically asked this. So some, so with this specific grower, I get a lot of fun and I get to call them. And whenever they show me something really cool, I get to be like, can you put one for the store or one for me? And I saw this and I was like, pretty please. And lo and behold, it is here. This is a Sanguinium cross forgetii. Ooh, 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 which doesn't make sense because Sang is definitely like a wide sinus and Forgetia is a closed sinus, but nevertheless, here is its beautiful, beautiful self. Tempting to keep this for myself, but I know I shouldn't. Um, and that's a really good size, actually. Ooh, another one that was really exciting and I had to ask for. So this, my friends, is a Pap Cross Mag. So not only is the pap the mother, so it's gonna get most of its traits from the pap papillaminum, but the mag pollen father will make it big. So imagine that, a big pap. <laughs> oh, my friends, here we go. It's tiny, um, but I know that this one has a lot of potential because of the mix. We have, Another begonia. And look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm not into begonia, but I think this one looks really cool. Oh, and it has spikes. It has like pink spikes and iridescence. Oh my goodness. Would you look at this begonia? I'm gonna have to ask my grower what begonias they are because I'm just not, I'm just not well hearsed in it. Doesn't mean that I don't want to be. I definitely can see their beauty. Hopefully you guys can see the spikes. Like if you look on here and I just hide my face, hopefully you could see the little um, spikes on it. But yeah, it's iridescent, it's pink, it is gorgeous. It's going to be very interesting to see how they, if they survive at PCM, because <laughs> the humidity is actually quite low within the store. We do have a grow tent at the back, so I might actually put them in the grow tent to acclimate them and make sure that they're okay, because I know that begonia can be, a not a little, a lot more fussy than other plants. So another begonia species I'm guessing. Ooh, good size. Pap hybrid crossed with a round crystal. Ooh la la. Oh, you see, I'm gonna keep this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know what this is. 
This is plush freak. That's right. Another hybrid, which is just stunning. There's actually two of those in there. I might actually separate them so that they can grow um, separately and bigger. So um, they're not competing for root space in the soil. So that is a, like I said, a pap hybrid crossed with a round crystal, which is also known as plush freak. All right. This guy is a great size and I'm wondering what it is. I'm guessing it's a hybrid of some sort. What are you? Where's your tag? Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh, this is beautiful. Look how beautiful the color is. And even so you got your new leaf, which is beautiful and red. Can you see it? Can you see it? Come on, camera focus. Um, and look at those roots. That is absurd. Crazy. So this is the grandchild, <laughs> the grandchild, which is a mag crossed with a midnight velvet. <gasps> wow, this is cool. I love the color and loving the redness of the new leaf, which is beautiful. Great size, beautiful plant. All right, let's move box number one out. Let's get this other box and move these plants. All right, my friends. So for those of you that are not anthurium lovers, this is where it's, it's time to shine. And so we've got some fun different genuses in here. Although the other one had some fun genuses too. Some begonia, some philodendron. I can see some big phyllos in here. That's exciting. Oh, this is looking, oh my gosh, I forgot I got those two. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So let's start off with things that I typically, oh wow, there's a lot in here. Oh yes, this is actually one that I'm, I've had in the store before and I'm always really excited that we get. Um, so my friends, this is a um, epiprenum amplissimum, but a variegated one. And these come into the store every so often. I wish I could get them um, even more often, but these are stunning. And I don't actually get epiprenum a lot in the store. I do, um, I do get some devil's ivy, but not, not really. I get, I get big, big devil's ivy um, in the store. But um, in terms of rare epiprenum, not so much. So this guy is definitely one that I love that we get into the store just for diversification purposes. Oh, cute. Oh, I love this one. These have come into the store previously and I know they are beautiful. I've seen the mother plant. So this is a Anthurium, they, my grower says it's a Forgetii. I believe it's a Forgetii crystallinum because of the veins and beautifulness, but how gorgeous is the shape and the crystal. When this gets big, it is crazy beautiful. Like one of my favorite Forgetii, I reckon, yeah. So crystally, so round, so delicious, and so cute, look how little it is. Ooh, what are you? A dark Forgetii hybrid. Mmm, this is really dark. I think it's probably one of the darkest ones here. Um. Mmm, yummy, yummy. I always ask my suppliers for like, um, like hybrids because I know that a lot of people that are just starting to get into anthurium and it might be a bit scary um, to do some hybrids because they are a lot easier and vigorous because you've got the hybrid um, or the diversification of genetics to make it easier <laughs> to care for than species. But anyway, yes, this one is very stunning and I'm sure that we've got a lot of more hybrids in here. A plant that always, always, always does well when it's a PCM, which is, I always, I think I always pronounce it incorrectly, Cerystus mirabellus, or Cerystus mirabellus. These are some of my absolute favorite plants. They're also called the embroidery plant. Um, 
But yeah, they have some beautiful patterns on them and the shape of the leaf is quite cute. Um, it would not surprise me that now that this plant has come to um, mature big leaves that they'll probably do, um, I, I believe it's like they almost I don't know if you call them fenestrations for this particular plant, but they definitely get holes and look very different when they're older. A good example of that, if you want to see a mature specimen and what that kind of looks like, we've got a video of Mark and Fairley Vowles' um, bed and breakfast. And in their um, outdoor space, they've got these very as very mature plants. So if you want to see what it looks like, go check out that video. But yes. We've got many of those. Ooh, what are you? Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. Oh, I kind of want this. Oh, I kind of want this. I don't, is it an ephalobum? What is this? It's really cool. Uh, Anthurium. Oh, so that's what it looks like. I have never seen this in person before. Or maybe I have and I just never noticed <laughs> when I was up in Cairns. But this is Anthurium ocranthinum. I've always had hybrids and never the actual species. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I want to keep this. <gasps> so check out the stems. We've got some red delicious vibrant stems. The shape re reminds me definitely of Anthurium ephalobum. And what's it like? It's a very limey green, beautiful petioles. And the shape is like sanguinium too. Oh my gosh, I want to keep this. This is, oh, and the new leaf is like super limey. Oh, this is a delicious plant. I hope you guys see the beauty in it as much as I'm seeing it. Oh, stunning. <gasps> So glad that this is coming in. My Syndapsis people, we have some, yay. We actually ran out of these um, and any kind of Syndapsis. I feel like a lot of them end up going as soon as they land in the store, but this is Syndapsis trubii, but the silver um, form, incredibly, incredibly stunning. And I don't know about you guys, but Syndapsis are definitely growing higher and higher in my, on my radar, because I think that they are super stunning, really easy to look after because they're so thick and they hold onto a lot of water. Don't need a lot of, um, watering from us. So very stunning. And just look at the color, silvery plants. They just hit different. We've got another pendant. Anthurium bakery eye, which looks great. It's great size. Ooh, yes. And imagine that in a beautiful basket. Oh my God, love it. Oh, look how big these leaves are. They're as like as long as my, probably not my full torso, but close. Yeah. Love me a bakery eye. You look shiny and red. Mmm, yum. Oh, I don't think I've gotten, I don't think I got in this in the, in the, in the store before. This is a Forgetti eye crossed with a crystal item. So Forgetti crystal crossed again with a Forgetti eye. So mama Forgetti cross crystal, papa is Forgetti eye. And if you can see what I see, which is red veins and a red sinus, hopefully Y'all can see it with glittery veins. This one is very, very beautiful. Hmm, what are you, Campo? Philodendron, oh, cool! So, um, I've never had this in the store before and I don't think I've ever had it in my collection before. Um, I'm so gonna butcher this. Philo Roth Shihianum. Roth Shihianum. Yes, Leanne, please put the, the spelling below. <laughs> but um, this guy looks really cool. Shape's good, veins are good. Color reminds me of a Tenue um, or a Campo, which is cool. Cool, I've never had that before. Ooh, I'm so glad. So my friends, I promise you that I ask for different genuses all the time. And I particularly asked for Anthurium quite some time, but not a lot of my growers actually grow to produce Anthurium. Like some of them I have it in their own personal collections, but not necessarily to sell. So this one, I'm very glad, has come into the store. And 
to be honest with you, I've never had it, thought about it, wanted it until I saw it now. And now maybe I want to keep it. But this is Alocasia Black Mac, um, Microhesa Black Mac. And just need I say more, I think the name speaks for itself at how dark black and purpley black it is, even the stems. Wow, this is, this is really stunning. I really would love to have more allocation in the store. We typically get allocation dragon scale and silver dragon scale. And I've got a fried egg at home, but it's, it's corms are not. Um, I used to get a variegated one. They have all gone and I am yet to get more. And um, we've had green velvet in the past, nebula, some other ones, but yeah, they've been gone and haven't been able to come back into the store. So I'm glad that we have an addition of an allocation. Um, into the store. Another majestic. Oh no, I lie. This is not a majestic, silly sound. This is a Soderoy. Yes, 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 yes. And you can see it's beautiful silvery patterns. And I exactly why a majestic gets its silvery patterns. I'll show you the back because Soderoys always have beautiful abaxials, leaves, petioles, the redness. Delicious. And last, but certainly not least, my friends, for those of you that have stuck around, thank you so much for sticking around. Know that there has been quite a few plants, so thank you for your patience. Here we go, last one, my friends, for this unboxing. Do you see it? I know that you guys absolutely adore this plant. And, Oh, I lie, I thought this was a UPI. No, 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 this is a philodendron 69686, or also known as Betty Waterbury. Waterbury, mmm. Oh, and it's a big one and it's a delicious one and it comes with a wooden stake or totem, which is really cool. It's already started to grab on, which is nice. Um, it is a beautiful size. And let me see, can I tell the difference between, the, oh yeah, I can definitely tell the difference between the UPI. I think it's mostly in like the ears that I can tell the difference. Um, and it doesn't have such a slender mid leaf, if that makes sense. But yes, very similar. For those of you that want a UPI but just can't pull the trigger, I think a uh, Betty Waterbury or a 69686 is a good kind of dupe, if you will. Ah, oh, we've done it, my friends. We have gone through all the plans, two boxes. If you have stuck around, thank you so, so much. One of my biggest like intentions is to, for YouTube, is that I want to show you guys things that you've never seen before, whether that's plants, environments, people's collections. And um, I guess like I'm really trying to diversify myself as well as PCM in terms of plants. So yeah, I think that it is perfectly fine to have your own preferences and biases towards certain types of plants, particularly if it's like easier for your care that you can provide. But I think like dabbling into something new is always exciting and why not give it a go? So let me just grab you guys because you need to see all of the plants that we have gone through. So many beautiful plants. But I guess that is it and wraps up this video, my friends. Thank you so, so much for being here and coming along with me to unbox these plants. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed and saw something that you have never seen before. But these plants will be available both in store for tomorrow, for Friday, for the long weekend and public holiday. But also I will be putting some online for my interstate people. So. Don't worry, I'm thinking about you guys too. And I guess that wraps it up. Let's chat in the comments. Tell me what is your favorite plant that was in today's unboxing. Tell me if there's any plants that you guys wish for me to bring into PCM. Or yeah, tell me plants that you think that are under the radar and would love to um, share with people. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
Mwah. Thank you.